Warning. In this video Pilgrim will sing. No one I think is in my tree. I mean it must be high along. That is you can't, you know, tune in but it's all right. That is I think it's not too bad. Let me take you down Cause I'm going to Strawberry fields Nothing is real And nothing to get hung about Strawberry fields forever Strawberry fields forever I never forget the first time I heard that song I was like nine years old and very much into the Beatles so I read about this whole conspiracy about Paul is dead, remember? And towards the end of the song, it gets very spooky. You have all these strange, weird drums. And if you listen very carefully, you can hear someone mumble in the background, I buried Paul. Years later, I found out it was John Lennon mumbling cranberry sauce. So much for the conspiracy theory, right? Now, today's version is based on the first take, the first recording that they ever did of the song. And that's much more of a mellow, easygoing, much more suitable version for the acoustic guitar. So grab your guitar and let's first take a look at the chords of the verse. Now before we start with the strumming, let's go over a few quick tips that will make your chord changes a little bit easier. First off, we have this G chord that goes on to the B minor. And immediately, this is probably one of the most difficult parts of the entire song. That B minor chord for beginners especially can be quite challenging. But what you can do is rather than to start with a regular G, just play a bar chord like this. And now it's much easier to go to that B minor. And when you get to the F chord, you can either use a bar, or what I like to do, mute the low E string, and index finger muting the high E string. And this is also called an F. Then when you get to this part, which is a very common chord progression, make sure to mute the low E string here with your thumb, otherwise you're gonna hear this. And now we cannot hear that beautiful descending bass line. Thump, muting the low E string. And it's much more clear. Let's take a look at the strumming. Fairly easy strumming pattern, not too difficult, just down and up. But it's not an easy song to play if you're a beginner, and that has to do with the chords. Now let's say you're having trouble with that B minor. Start with the bar chord. Make sure you don't do this. You do not want to play all four strums on the chord. That way you have way too little time to get to the next chord. What you want to do is the last strum needs to be on open strings like this. And that's so much better, isn't it? Make sure the last strum before you head to the next chord is on open strings. Your fingers need that bit of time to get to the next chord. It sounds so much more smooth. Now the good thing about many Beatles songs is the structure is quite Simple, mostly they only contain two parts. We've covered the verse and there's only one part left, really. It's the chorus. Now 
And when the chorus, the G minor, and especially that G minor seven can be quite tricky, not even for beginners, but even for advanced players. Now what you wanna do is coming from that C chord, you can slide your ring finger up two frets, and then it's easier, much easier to go to that G minor. And also notice, I also use my middle finger, top of my index finger, I need that extra strength, very important. Now what you want to focus on is, do you hear the G string? Many people have this, and it's muted. What you want to do is experiment a little bit with your index finger and middle finger, perhaps a little bit more up or a little bit more down. Just search for that sweet spot. And you can hear it. For me, it's where I have this little curve here. That's where I have the G string. And that works pretty well for me. And when you get to the A string, you want to play a crescendo. Crescendo means start soft and gradually become a bit louder. And two beats F, one, two, and again A7. Let's play the entire song. Grab your guitar, if you haven't already, and see if we can play the entire thing. And there you go, that was Strawberry Fields Forever. It's quite interesting that the song was actually intended to be on the Sgt. Pepper album, together with Penny Lane. And in hindsight, Beatles producer George Martin actually regretted the decision to put those two songs out as a single instead. Imagine, Sgt. Pepper could have even been better. That's quite hard to imagine, isn't it? Anyway, as always, a huge thanks to all Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I couldn't do this without you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you 